Thank you. It's incredible to get to be uh, all, at this position in history right now, to be able to make an actual difference at this age. You know, I say it can only happen in America. So I'm looking forward to <laughs> how this night's going to turn out because I genuinely believe Donald Trump is going to pull out in uh, Arizona and in North Carolina. Okay, well, I want to get to your rates in a minute, but let's talk about that. How are you feeling there? What are you seeing on the ground? Do you think that this is going to be a solid win for him? I do. You know, I have anecdotal evidence that, you know, I think speaks even louder than empirical evidence of the motivation and the enthusiasm that people have for Donald Trump in this state. You know, I've gone all over the state helping a lot of North Carolina. Carolina House members get elected, uh, and I've gotten to see the the evidence of a strong Trump army that is willing to go out and vote for him. And you know, I believe that uh, it, just as we saw here in Western North Carolina, we saw a much more than much higher than we expected turnout for voters. And I think that's going to happen all over North Carolina. I believe we will win. President Trump will win by one or two percent here. When do you think it's going to get called? Do you have a pulse on that? I do not. You know what? The uh, the North Carolina Board of Elections is not the, uh, the the most friendly with Republicans. All right. Well, hopefully we'll have something soon. I know people are eager to hear uh, that state called. Uh, talking about your race, I know one of the reasons that you say that you ran was because that you wanted to represent the new Republican Party. You were ready for a new par Republican Party to rise. You know, there's a lot of different approaches uh, to being a congressman. You know, some people want to be a voice for the people. Some want to be a champion for local issues or other national issues. What type of congressman do you want to be? You know, I know you said that you want to heal America. How do you intend to do that? You know, one of the number one objectives I think that all all politicians should have right now is to work to heal the partisan divide we have in America. And so I don't necessarily think that that means that we're capitulating or giving up ground. But I think it may be that we're not attacking the character of our opponents, but rather we're attacking the content of their ideas. Uh, and so I think that's a way we could heal and be able to sit down and actually be, be able to have a conversation with a liberal again, rather than it just being such a divisive and aggressive tone where everybody is just angry at one another. I don't think that's uh, going to lend itself to a brighter future for America. Uh, but when you ask what kind of congressman I want to be, you know, I, I have kind of two, two approaches to that. Uh, on the policy side, I want to be a champion for Western North Carolina. Uh, we need health care reform out here in Western North Carolina, as we do in the rest of the country. And we specifically desperately need infrastructure reform. Uh, but I believe there's also a cultural battle to fight. One, you know, this, this as I'm talking about right now, yeah. uh, this partisan divide that's going on, I think that it has got to be taken on head on, grab the bull by the horns and win this thing. Well, I'm looking forward to you doing that because that is something that really needs to happen. Uh, just a few seconds left here. What surprised you? Any, anything last night that took you off guard that you were like, wow, can't believe that happened? Yes, so we were in our plus two district. Uh, polling had us ahead by maybe three percent, but you know what? I've decided that polls are absolutely absolutely useless. Yes, uh, we pulled ahead by twelve percent, and I'm so happy about it. And so uh, polls are just a, a tool of the, uh, the 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 Washington establishment to manipulate the people. I think. You know, Madison, we've had two election cycles now where polls uh, have clearly been wrong. We're going to talk about that with our company in just a minute. So you've set us up perfectly for that. But huge congratulations to you. Uh, look forward to seeing you uh, in Congress in just a few months. Great. Thanks for having me on, as always. You guys are great. Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.